In recent polls, there's one clear front runner to secure the Republican nomination in North Carolina's Senate race. That's Ted Budd. He's the only candidate to be endorsed by former President Donald Trump, but so far has refused to participate in any debates with his Republican counterparts. Now, Chief Political Correspondent Emma Withrow sat down one on one with Budd on why he's not debating and his message for voters this spring. It's been almost exactly one year since Congressman Ted Budd announced his bid for the open North Carolina Senate seat, and a lot's changed since then. He snagged some of the biggest conservative endorsements, got a huge super PAC to advertise on his behalf, and is now the clear front runner in this race. With one month left, he's hoping to coast through this primary, but it's not a sure thing when you're running against well-known Republicans. North Carolina Senate primary shifted on June 6, 2021. So I'm going with Congressman Ted Budd, complete and total endorsement. Former President Donald Trump's endorsement changed the dynamics of the race and bumped Ted Budd into becoming one of the front runners instantly. But support from Trump comes with strings attached, meaning unwavering loyalty to the former president and all that he believes in. Mr. President, Laura, this means the world to me. Thank you. In a September 2021 interview with the AP, a reporter asked Budd, Joe Biden 2020, did he win the election fair and square? He did. He's the legitimate president. And you accept the fact Trump got 7 million fewer popular votes? I do. Do you still believe that now? So he is the president, but I have tremendous constitutional concerns about how the election of 2020 happened. I've voiced those concerns. That was about 30 seconds out of a 30-minute interview that has been clipped and promoted by my opponents. Bud said after that interview resurfaced, he explained to Trump that his comments were taken out of context. They tried to do it to split me uh, from and to lose President Trump's support. But he's been very, uh, very direct in supporting me. Actually, the second time he endorsed me uh, was as a result of that because he knows I'm firmly with him and he knows that election integrity is an issue for me. So, folks, are you with me? But backing from Trump doesn't guarantee Bud the Republican nomination, with former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory closely following Bud in the polls. I think we've had five polls with the average of 12 and a half points advantage. That's great. We're going to run like we're 10 points behind. Usually elected leaders who are currently in office shy away from endorsing candidates during a primary, but Bud broke barriers when it came to that unspoken rule. Wait, and all of my support behind Representative Ted Budd, who is going to be the next senator from North Carolina. North Carolina Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson surprised many when he threw his weight behind Bud just a couple of months before the primary, especially since he'd spoken so highly of Congressman Mark Walker, another Republican opponent, just a few weeks prior. Congressman Walker is a fighter. So I honor that man. I love this man. You go all the way to the top, brother. You know you will. You know God has got your back. What little bit I can do, I'm going to do for you as well. So thank you for being here. We appreciate you. God bless you. But Bud has a different perspective on that. That was my opponent's strategy, is just to follow the lieutenant governor around. Bud's been highly criticized by his opponents for not participating in any debates. There's five debates. He hasn't shown up for the first two. He won't show up tonight. And we'll I'll see. predict this right now, he will not show up for the final two either. You know why? We'll because they won't allow him. But Bud claims there's more important things on his schedule. And what do we do with the remaining uh, four and a half, five weeks that we have? And uh, do I spend it in talking to a TV camera? Or do I spend it talking to voters that I haven't yet met? So it's really a choice, and we're making the choice uh, week by week. Whatever and Congressman Ted Budd's doing seems to be working. The most recent poll shows Budd with a 16-point lead over former Governor Pat McCrory. But it's important to note that 23% of Republicans in that poll said they were undecided. So things could shift very easily in the next few weeks. Emma Withrow, Queen City News. Thank you for that. Queen City News is your local election headquarters tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Join us for a special report as we showcase a debate between Republicans Mark Walker and Pat McCrory as they discuss the big issues. And our Ann White Little serves as the host.